What is up and welcome back, it's Skovos and in today's video we're going to be talking about Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis. This will be a new game despite some confusion. It's going to be coming to Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and Windows 10 PC in 2021. So with this being an entirely new game, it definitely raised quite a few questions for me, and I'll be going over all of those in this video. Really quick, right before we jump into all of these juicy details, I want to mention my new website and coffee brand, thecoffeecash.com. This is going to be premium quality, roasted to order coffee grounds shipped from the United States directly to your door contact free. Any order over $50 in the US will be free shipping, and you can use code SCOVOS for an extra 10% off. So Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis will unfold in a world set 1000 years after the Oracle's battle and the original PSO2. This game will feature wide open, visually striking battlefields that Sega refers to as a new living world that will change with the passage of time and weather. All of this in New Genesis is rendered using an upgraded graphics engine. And on that note, Sega also says that PSO2 will be getting an upgraded graphics engine as well. With New Genesis focusing on a open world style gameplay, we're going to see the addition of some movement style abilities. Now two of the abilities that we know of so far is a sprint ability known as Photon Dash and Photon Glide, an ability that will allow us to float down from higher vantage points. We also see the addition of a higher fidelity character creation tool. This tool gives us much more control and more depth over customizing our characters. For example, we can determine the exact placement of all of our favorite accessories. So the character creation and avatars will be compatible with both PSO2 and New Genesis. You can also share emotes and other registered data between both games. Some things that will not carry over is going to be your levels, XP, skills, photon arts, techniques, and the currency that affects the economy. Although star gems and art cash will be account bound and transferable between both games. Sega also lets us know that we can bring our weapons, units, and mags from PSO2 into New Genesis, but they warn us that their functions, abilities, and appearances may temporarily change. So when New Genesis launches next year in 2021 on Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and PC, it will have the same free-to-play model as Fantasy Star Online 2. And Sega's goal with both of these games is to have them coexist side by side, allowing you to log into the one of your choice with the character that you've grown to love over all of this time. So that's going to wrap up today's video, but wait, before you click away, clicking that subscribe button really does help me out and support my channel quite a bit. If you like this video in particular, click the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you're also more than welcome to click the thumbs down. But whether you did click or didn't click anything I mentioned, I still hope you have a good evening, afternoon, morning, night, or whatever it is, wherever you are. But thank you for stopping by, and I hope to see you in one of my next videos.